Hi students, welcome to PhD Jobs and Admission. This is Gauri. So in this video, I am going to teach you about research methodology section of BRAOU PhD entrance test. In this session, I am going to teach you about methods of data collection by using MCQs. Okay, and on on these topics, you will be asking four to five questions in each year at your PhD entrance test. Okay, and after viewing this video, if you have any doubts on this topic, then you can ask me in the comment box. But though all of your doubts will get clear. So before starting this session, I want to tell you that Global Online team provides you complete course on research methodology as in BRAOU PhD entrance test, you will be asked 50% MCQs on research methodology. So if you want to qualify PhD entrance test, then you need to score more marks in research methodology. So with the help of this course, you can score more marks in research methodology and qualify PhD entrance test. So students in this course, we are providing you full syllabus video lectures under which theory and MCQ lectures both are available. You will get full syllabus notes and mock tests. You will get more than 1500 MCQs revision PDF and all of these study materials are available in both the languages, Hindi and English. So basically students, we have 10 mock tests like this and each mock test contains 40 MCQs and that's why overall you can solve 400 MCQs in mock tests only. And by the use of this revision PDF, you can revise all the topics in a single PDF and you will be, uh, you know, getting 80% MCQs from this revision PDF only out of 100% MCQs in research methodology section of BRAOU PhD entrance test. And over here, the topics that I have mentioned like research aptitude, communication, data interpretation, information and communication technology, all of these topics are covered okay, in this complete course. And these topics are there in the syllabus of your research methodology section of PhD entrance test. Okay. So students, if you want to buy this course, then you can either download the global online app from the Play Store. For that, I have given the link in the description box of this video or else you can contact me through these WhatsApp numbers. OK, and the course fees are really very less, which are only 699 rupees. And in such, a, you know, low course fees, we are providing you step by step guidance at your each and every step of PhD admission at BRAOU and as well global online team provides you 100% passing guarantee that you can guaranteed qualify the PhD entrance test okay so let us start with our today's session now question one is dash includes data concerning the family background and educational development so from these options which is the research method or which is the data collection method which includes data which is relevant to the family background and educational development so we have here different options case study general behavior genetic approach and adequacy so students if you have uh, seen all of these options then you will understand that here only case study is the research method or it is the data collection method and genetic general behavior genetic approach and adequacy all of these are not any kind of a data collection method in research okay so all of these options gets eliminated and that's why your correct answer is case study okay here it is very easy to understand uh, the answer to this question because of the options are really very easy but there is concept behind this and this is that ki case study uh, is a qualitative research method and basically it involves in-depth study of single case from various angles. Okay. And data sources includes data regarding family and educational background mostly and primary data collection methods are observation and conducting interviews over here. Okay, so this is nothing but the case study and the information about it and that's why case study includes data which is relevant to the family background and educational development. Okay, which one of the following is a type of self-reporting technique? So from these options, which is the type of self-reporting technique and we have the options field analysis, questionnaire, case study, focus groups. So let us see first of all, what is self-reporting technique? So basically students are uh, self-reporting uh, techniques of data collection uses surveys, questionnaires or polls where respondents read question and select a response by themselves without any interference from investigator. 
सो बेसिकली सेल्फ रिपोर्टिंग टेक्निक ऑफ डेटा कलेक्शन यूजेस सर्वेज क्वेश्चन एयर्स क्वेश्चन एयर्स एंड पोल्स एज द मेथड ऑफ डेटा कलेक्शन एंड दैट्स आई यूर करेक्ट आंसर ओवर हियर शुड बी क्वेश्चन एयर बिकॉज क्वेश्चन एयर इज अ टाइप ऑफ सेल्फ रिपोर्टिंग टेक्निक ओके एंड ऑल ऑफ दी अदर ऑप्शन लाइक फील्ड एनालिस केस स्टडी एंड फोकस ग्रुप्स आर द डेटा कलेक्शन मेथड्स बट दे आर नॉट टाइप ऑफ सेल्फ रिपोर्टिंग टेक्निक बिकॉज विद इन द फील्ड एनालिस बेसिकली रिसर्चर वॉन्ट्स टू अंडरस्टैंड द ह्यूमन बिहेवियर इन देअर नैचरल एन्वॉर्मेंट ओके in the case study as we have seen earlier in this video we are going to or uh, you know study in depth information of a single person only and within the focus groups uh, there is a homogeneous groups and which has the participants which has the common characteristics okay and that's why here your correct answer should be 2 next is the techniques by which we can study an individual's personality by observing his or her style of life behavior manner thoughts and feelings is called so from these options which is the technique by which we can study individual's personality by observing his or her style of life by observing his or her style of behavior or his or her style of manner thoughts and feelings okay so whether the technique is inventory or case history or rating scale or projective okay so the correct answer to this question is 2 because the correct answer is case history case history so case history includes all relevant information or material okay which is gathered about individual family group etc and and the common type of information included in case history are like a uh, basic statistical data such as gender sex name like that okay so basic data it it, it includes as well it includes clients uh, history of services as well it includes investigation which is pertaining to clients case it includes investigation outcomes it includes past and present treatments and or counseling sessions then history of illnesses complaints and their resolution referrals etc okay and that's why here your correct answer should be 2 which is case history and the other options such as inventory rating scale projective okay these are as well the techniques but um, these are the techniques by which we can't study individuals personality by uh, observation okay and that's why the correct answer is 2 that is case history okay next is name the method by which uh, you know or which uh, deals with only one person at a time and promotes his adjustment so from these uh, methods which is the method which deals with only one person at a single time and also uh, this method promotes his adjustment so whether it is case study whether it is questionnaire or clinical method or experimental method so obviously students now all of you understood that your correct answer over here should be case study as we have seen earlier in this video within the case study we are going to uh, study in detail information about a single person at a time okay and that's why case study is the method which deals with only one person at a time and also case study promotes that person's adjustment matlab uh, i mean to say according to uh, that person's adjustment or uh, researcher basically do the study okay as we all of we know that what is questionnaire so basically questionnaire is a self reporting technique in which researcher asks the questions to the respondents and respondents themselves gives the answers to the uh, researcher okay within the clinical method so basically this is the method which is used in a uh, clinical uh, uh areas such as uh, within the laboratory or within the diagnostic labs okay and in the clinical method maybe a, a researcher can do a study on a single person and as well maybe a researcher can do a study on a, on a group of people okay which has the common characteristics fine 
and within the experimental method researcher uh, can uh, study the relationship between the variables as well researcher controls the variables in the experimental method and here researcher statistically test the hypothesis okay so lots of things can be done within the experimental method but your correct answer over here is case study okay a researcher wants to study the association between gender and using a mobile phone data collected for this study will be so here researcher wants to study exactly what is the association or relationship between the gender and using a mobile phone i mean to say how uh, how much amount of gender okay using a specific mobile phone for example how many there are the number of female candidates who are using a mobile phone and how uh, how many there are number of male candidates who are using a mobile phone and researcher here wants to study that association okay so here for that purpose what kind of data researcher will collect so whether researcher will collect quantitative data or qualitative data continuous data or classified data so mainly students uh, there are uh, two types of data uh, within the research and those are quantitative and qualitative data so quantitative data as the name suggests it represents uh, the numerical data basically because here we give the uh, particular values uh, to the data sets Uh, and we can measure uh, here or uh, the data okay through those values but within the qualitative data we don't give uh, the values to the data sets and as well here the data is in the picture or word format okay and over here researcher will collect the qualitative data because here researcher wants to understand exactly the association between gender and using a mobile phone right and that's why here he will collect the qualitative data which includes a uh, lots of uh, experiences behaviors of each gender towards the uh, mobile phone okay so only quantitative data over here is not sufficient to study whole thing and that's why here researcher will collect the qualitative data mainly okay and that's why your correct answer should be 2 arrange the following stages of processing of data in a correct sequence so over here we have given uh, some a uh, stages of processing of data and we have to arrange these stages in a correct sequence so let us see what are these stages coding editing tabulation classification using percentages so basically students um, whenever we collect the data so after that we need to process that data uh, for our further processes in our research okay so in that case your first stage of uh, processing of data will be editing okay editing so within the editing part basically uh, we remove the on ambiguous data or the data which is unclear and as well uh, whenever there is a wrong uh, information within the data so we remove it okay this is called as the editing part of the data then second is coding so within the coding part we give a particular uh, kind of a symbol to the data so that we can identify the data third one is classification so after that we classify the data according to whether it uh, it has numerical value or not or whether the data is in picture or word format according to okay that then next is we tabulate the data basically whenever we have a data set then uh, we or uh, you know uh, categorize the data in the tabular format so that it will be easier for all of us to understand the data and as well uh, we can easily mention the data in the tables easily okay and the last one is using percentages so whatever data we have tabularized so basically we represent that data using the percentages so by showing the data by using the percentages will be easier for the readers to understand exactly what amount of data is available okay and that's why your correct answer should be 4 
4 which is B A D C E because over here B editing will be your first stage coding uh, will be your second stage classification will be your third tabulation fourth and using percentages will be fifth stage okay which one of the following stages of the marketing research process is most expensive so over here uh, we have mentioned that um, different stages of the marketing research process and from these stages which is the most expensive stage whether it is data analysis whether it is data collection or whether it is developing the research plan or report writing so all of we know that what is exactly the marketing research process as the name suggests it is a marketing research process so in this research process basically we study the trends in the market okay whatever there is trending in the market and we study on that and that's why over here the most expensive or uh, stage in the marketing research is a uh, data collection because over here we need lots of data from the lots of amount of people because here we are going to study regarding marketing trends okay and that's why uh, to collect the data we need a lot of uh, funding okay and as well here data collection requires lots of time as well okay and that's a data collection process over here uh, is most expensive okay which data is cheaper to collect now which data is cheaper to collect whether it is um, primary data secondary data new data or collected data now within the uh, research methodology again there are two types of data and those are primary and secondary data so primary data is the data which is created and used by the first user okay and this is the primary data because uh, here first user collects or creates the data as the at the place where it is originally creates all of you getting and secondary data is the data which is uh, created by the third persons or se or second user basically second user or third person so for example secondary data is the data which is available on the internet which is available uh, through the texts okay so this this is called as the secondary data but primary data is the data that a uh, first user collects through the interviews questionnaires all of you getting and that's why here secondary data is cheaper to collect than the primary data because uh, within the primary data collection method researcher has to take a uh, you know um some kind of an activity such as interviews such as surveys or questionnaires but within the secondary data uh, a person need to only uh, collect the data from the internet from the persons like that okay so here uh, you know secondary data collection method does not require any kind of that much amount of funding but primary data collection method requires lots of funding okay and that's why your correct answer should be 2 next is a researcher is interested in studying the prospects of a particular political party in an urban area so what tool should he prefer for the study so now over here researcher is interested to study the prospects okay of a specific political party in an urban area so for that he needs to collect the data okay so for the data collection what kind of data collection tool he will use so whether he will use rating scale or interview or questionnaire or schedule so students now here researcher wants to study the prospects of a political party in an urban area so here there is an urban area and as well there is a uh, nothing like work which is done by a political party okay and by taking consideration all of these things we can understand that urban uh, par urban area is the area which includes a lot of um, population and as well uh, you know there is lot of population so researcher can't takes uh, interview right so interview option gets eliminated because it will take lots of time for the researcher okay and urban area includes the people uh, who are majorly literate uh, li uh, you know they are literate right and that's why uh, they can answer or uh, to the questions uh, whatever researcher asked uh, to them through the uh, online um, media such as internet email like that 
okay and that's why over here researcher will follow the questionnaire tool okay because it will be easier to uh, researcher okay to collect the data through the questionnaire tool okay and here researcher can't use rating scale because a uh, rating scale uh, can be operated when uh, there is some kind of work which is already done by a political party but over here they have not mentioned us that a work has been done by a, a political party in an urban area and that's why over here researcher can't use rating scale but he can use questionnaire and schedule can't be used because a schedule is the technique in which researcher itself fill up the questionnaire okay but over here researcher wants the opinions of the uh, people from an urban area right and that's why he wants specific the responses from the people and uh, that's why uh, to get the responses from the people itself he will use questionnaire not schedule okay next is which of the following uh, is not the method of research now from these options which is not the method of research whether it is survey historical observation philosophical now students we need to understand exactly what is the method of research so research method basically comprises of strategies okay strategies then uh, processes or techniques processes or techniques that are being utilized to collect data or evidence so as to reveal new information or create better understanding of topic okay and that's why whenever we see this concept of method of research then you will understand that survey is the method of research historical is again the method of research observation is again the method of research but philosophical is not the method of research and that's why your correct answer should be 4 because within the survey uh, we can ask the questions to the respondents and respondents give us the answers within the historical uh, method of research basically we can collect the data uh, from the past basically we can collect the data through the people uh, in the past we can collect the data uh, through the pictures or videos which are recorded and as well observation is the uh, you know mostly used data collection method in the research okay in different kinds of research types right and within the observation researcher can use uh, somehow uh, strategies or techniques such as participant observation is some of the strategy non participant observation is another strategy okay and that's why all of these are the methods of research but philosophical is not the method of